this lecture uh, we are going to see the special function register in a051 so what is special function register means in a051 we know that we have seen uh, general purpose register of uh, bank bank 1 bank 2 bank 3 bank 4 so r0 to r31 when it is divided into bank R0 to R7 related to bank 1, R0 to R7 related to bank 2. Like that, we have seen 32 general purpose registers in 8051. Like that, we have a special function register in 8051. Those special function registers are totally 21 special function registers are available in the 8051. For example, we have one special function register called PMOD another special function register called S1 one more special function register called PMOD like that uh, your PC is also a special function register DPTR is also a special function register and your ports P0, P1, P2, P3, P4 is also a special function register so the point is we have 21 special function registers right? So, when you want to do some operation with this special function register, we need to write an instruction. For example, here move a comma p mod, move a comma s con, move a comma p mod. Like that, if you want to write an instruction for 21 registers, so your assembler what it will do? It will convert this move a comma t mod into an opcode so for this move a comma t mod the assembler will create one opcode for move a comma s con the assembler will create opcode move a comma p mod the assembler will create another opcode like that 21 opcodes for move a comma t mod if you want to do add subtract divide so like that if you want to do some operations with the sfr for each and every operation we need to create so many opcodes, right? So our uh, our 8051 is 8-bit uh, uh, processor, 8-bit microcontroller. So you can have maximum 2 power 8, uh, that means 256 opcodes you will have. So only for move, 21 opcodes you are using. Like that, uh, add, subtract, division. So how many opcodes you will get? So opcodes will be exhausted for this uh, simple uh, operations with uh, SFRs only. So for that purpose what they have done is uh, instead of uh, using the direct SFRs in the instructions, okay, they are using the addresses of the SFRs, okay, addresses of the SFRs. So uh, we know that uh, we have seen in the previous lecture our 8051 microcontroller having the internal RAM of 0, 0 to 7s okay this is the internal ram uh, um, address range capacity of uh, 8051 so here we are using 8 bit address to address this 0, 0 to 7s 8 bit address lines if you are using how many ad address lines actually we can access 256 but here uh, here we are using only 128 locations only we are using here using the 8 bit address just we are calling or we are accessing only 128 locations the remaining 128 locations that means to out of 256 only 128 locations here we are using the remaining 128 addresses are free right so after 7f you will get 80 80 to ff is free right we are not using these address locations okay as I, I told you in the previous lecture to access this 128 locations actually we need uh, seven address lines 2 power 7 is nothing but 128 but uh, the address line the address lines should be the power of 2 that is why we are using the 2 8 address lines so you even though we we need to access only 128 uh, locations but the address line should be the power of 2 that is why we are using the 2 power 8 so 256 locations actually you can access but uh, 
8051 internal RAM capacity is only 128 bytes. So 002 to 7F uh, address locations only we are using. So after that 82 7F 82 FF address locations are free. Now these address locations we are using for PMOD SCON PMOD like that. Okay. So every register should locate in uh, uh, internal uh, in the chip at particular location. Okay. PMOD means it is a register should be located at one particular location like that SCON is a register should be located at one particular location to access that particular SCON or PMOD register we need to know that address also right now 8051 uh, engineers what they thought that instead of using PMOD SCON PMOD directly so we can use their addresses such that opcodes will be reduced how is the opcodes will reduce so instead of PMOD now I am using the address of the PMOD. For example, address of the PMOD is 80. Just think that the TMOD is located at 80 and the SCON is located at 90. Okay, PMOD is located uh, um, around 95, something like that. Okay, so now your assembler will create the opcode for only move. Okay, then 80 will follow with the opcode. Like uh, next one is move. A SCON. Now it SCON in place of SCON we are using 90. Now the assembler will use the move op code and move A op code and it is followed by 90. Right. So now previous case uh, for just doing the operation of uh, um, move A we need to create 21 different SFRs. But now for move A is common for in each and every operation. So single opcode for move A is enough that is followed by with their different opcodes with their different addresses right now with only one single SFR one single uh, one single opcode we are creating the move operations with 21 SFRs are you getting my point so here instead of move a pmod move a scon what we are doing is move a comma 80 move a comma 90 move a comma 95 so in each and every instruction move a is common right so just we are using the move a opcode for every instruction comma followed by their addresses so suppose for example move a opcode is 11 for example think like that move a opcode is 11 now for move a p mod means 11 followed with 80 11 followed with 90 11 followed with 95 like that now you see move only 11 is the opcode for all the sfrs for move operation in previous case we need to create different opcodes for this 21 sfrs like that we are saving the our uh, opcodes for as uh, using the addresses of the SFR okay so similarly uh, we have port operations right port ports also a P0 is also a SFR okay as I told you in the previous lecture if you want you can access P0 as a 8 bit register or otherwise you can access P0 as a bit operations like uh, P0.1 P0.2, P0.3, like that, we have P0.8. So, if you want to do 8 bit operation with port 0, you can use directly port 0, like move A, comma port 0. Otherwise, if you want to do some bit operations with the individual pins of the ports, because port 0 having 8 individual pins. So you can do eight individual operations with the port zero bit. These are all called bit So now the same case. Suppose uh, if you want to set set bit port zero point one. That means in the port zero first pin you want to set like that. Set b port zero point two. Set b port zero point three like this now in this case also if you observe so for for only set operation we are using 
eight different pins set B P zero point one set B P zero point two like that set B P zero point eight. So assembler will create uh, eight different opcodes for this uh, only set operation. We have like uh, clear operation, complement operation, so many bit operations are there. Again here also we are following the same logic. Now instead of using this uh, P zero point one port zero point one directly what we are doing is we can use the p0.1 address how we can use in previous lecture i showed the internal ram structure of the 8051 there one location is there that is a bit addressable location that bit addressable location starting at 00 ending at uh, 7f right so these are all the bit addressable locations so here also we have only we have used 00 to 7f that means 128 locations only we have used so we have one more 128 locations are free for a bit addressable uh, bit addressable locations so we are using that address here so uh, set p 80 set b 81 set b 82 means 80 means That 80th location we have a port P0.1. Set B 81 means that 81 location we have a port 0.2. So at this time you will get some confusion. So here move A 80 means it is a P mod operation we told you in previously. Now set B 80 means whether the microcontroller will get confusion or not you may get the doubt. But this set B means it is a bit operations. Okay. so microcontroller will not get confusion so move a means it is a byte operation when you are saying the byte operation 80 it will go to the t mod when you would do the bit operation 80 microcontroller will come to the port 0.1 okay why we are all doing this means just we need to save the opcodes okay this is about the hsfor